Welcome back to another video and today I will be going through some of the recently released and announced makeup and how I think about them. So some of these products have been already released, there's still quite a lot of holiday stuff that is coming out and then there is some products that are still to be, that have been announced or have been sneak peeked. And uh, I will already say in the beginning that there are also some products included here that I have already bought, but I will be talking about them once we come to a product. But anyway, let's get to the video and the new makeup itself. Okay, so there has been quite a lot of makeup that is still coming out, considering that we are coming to the end of the year and usually uh, by the time that we are getting this part of the year, the releases sort of start slowing down, but um, I somehow feel that that's not happening right now. There's still so much being being announced and of course after the uh, like uh, sort of holiday Christmas time is over, uh, I know there will probably start being some uh, Chinese New Year releases that will be coming out and then, I don't know, well I think Valentine's Day is gonna be the next one when we will have like a lot of Themed release is coming, but yeah. So let's see, I'm gonna then now check my phone and see the folder that I have been saving some stuff. So yeah, first let's, let's talk about Simply Posh Cosmetics. So this is a release that I know that has already come out and there is already some reviews of this on YouTube, on other channels, so you will be now seeing the picture. And so this release included, there is a blush and highlighter palette, and then there is the eyeshadow palette. And uh, I wasn't, I think this might be like a redone or re-release of a palette they have done before, but now they have sort of re-ramped it uh, to fit their sort of current style of palettes. And uh, let's see, looking at the palette, uh, first I think the blush and highlighter palette, I mean, it's cute. I think the blush shades are a bit right uh, so if you someone who likes a very subtle blush I don't think this will be the blush palette for you also the highlighters look like look like they have quite a lot of impact but I think nevertheless I still think looking at it it's a quite cute or cute face palette and there's certainly like a, a lot of options if you want to get this the eyeshadow palette it is sort of muted jewel tone uh, shadows uh, I think this might come to Monolith Shop because Monolith Shop here in Europe gets quite a lot of the American indie releases and they do stock the brand. But I think by the time this comes to Monolith Shop, we are sort of already over the uh, Christmas season. So this collection, I think for me, is a no, even though I do think it's quite cute, it's quite holiday appropriate. But I think by the time that this is going to be av easily available or accessible for me, uh, we are already sort of past the, past the holiday releases and I do think that because of the packaging and the colors this is quite a holiday specific uh, palette so I don't think I would be using this uh, after the holiday season is over but nevertheless I do think it's still a very nice looking palette and I do like the muted jewel tones that it has so yeah that that's about it from that release. Next one is the new palette from Artitude Cosmetics. So Artitude Cosmetics is a UK-based indie brand and they came out with their next uh, new palette and I'm gonna see the name of this. Uh, what is the name of this? Why isn't there? We're, 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 we're real, real professionals here, folks. Uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna put the name somewhere on the screen once I'll be able to find it because the makeup on radar photo that I'm looking at only has the photos inside of the palette. But anyway, I do feel that this is sort of a more muted version of their sort of first palette that they, well, it wasn't their first palette, but on, on the early on the fall they came out with, the, I think it was sort of had this sort of lion theme on it, uh, or it was sort of wildlife theme. So I feel this is more sort of a muted, grungier version of their previous release. I do think it's quite a nice looking palette and I am considering that uh, I could technically order Artitude Cosmetic because from UK we do have to now pay the uh, VAT because of Brexit and we do have to do the customs uh, sort of uh, declaration when we order products but um, this wouldn't be like horribly uh, expensive and it wouldn't take that long for it to arrive where I live. However, I don't think this is still like... <sighs> It's uh, still a color story that I'm not going like uh, crazy about, so uh, it is a bit too like for, uh, dark for my taste. But I do think that uh, I wasn't the 
sort of their previous palette had quite a lot of these sort of bright greens for my taste and if you have watched my videos you do know that uh, these very sort of bright greens aren't my sort of favorite shadow so this is a bit more muted so I don't know I'm gonna see maybe in the future if this comes to monolith shop and there is some other stuff that I want to order with it then I might uh, bite the pull bullet and order this but as a standalone palette I don't think this is for me personally exciting enough to make an order from their own website uh, just for the palette. There were also some other products that came out with this but uh, the most interesting part for me was the palette and I have watched uh, reviews of the palette. I do think that there are some quite a good mix of textures here so there is some mat matte shades in it but there's also some duochromes and some multichromes and uh, the shimmer, some like shimmers with variations, so it's a. I think it's a very good uh, second uh, like. Well, not it's not a second release because the brand has had palettes before, but sort of uh, another like a sort of I think release that will be very popular for them. But it's still something that uh, I'm not uh, like right now thinking about ordering it. So next we're gonna talk about a new mascara that L'Oreal has announced and this might already be available in North America or in some European countries. I haven't seen this in our stores yet but I do think L'Oreal is quite quick in how they distribute their products in different regions. So this is the uh, voluminous, voluminous Panorama mascara I believe and uh, it has a rubber wand, so that's I usually don't like it, like this all rubber ones, but I do think the wand looks quite. It has this sort of um, a triangle shape, so it looks like a, a mascara wand that I would uh, like using, and that it would uh, give uh, quite nice a separation to the lashes. And of course, the promotional images of this these look like very very great but you have to always <laughs> when looking at mascara commercials take into consideration that they do tend to make the mascaras look much more effective than they actually are in some cases the mascaras are as good but a lot of times you have to take the adverts with a bit of grain of salt here but anyway, I think because I had so, such a good luck with the Maybelline mascara recently that I have been trying and I have now used up, so I think this will be something that I would be interested to try because it is something that would be very easy for me to get because L'Oreal is almost sold in all of our retailers that stock any kind of makeup. But yeah, um, this already, like I said, might be available in your country and if you have tried this mascara then comment down below was it as good as the adverts made it seem. So it has come out with some new uh, Etundude palettes. I'm very sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation, but uh, unfortunately I don't speak French, so sorry about that. So these are both very, I say, neutral ones. The other one is a bit more has a bit more purple to it but it's quite muted purples and the other one looks like it has more cool toned darker browns. Uh, I have watched some reviews of these uh, palettes already and it seems that the quality, quality itself seems to be quite uh, good. However, I think quite a lot of the reviews that I have seen from these have highlighted that these look like a lot of uh, palettes that YSR has been coming in recent years so I have noticed also myself when I have looked at the releases that there has been quite a lot of these sort of neutral leaning palettes with some pop of color and these are these two aren't actually particularly colorful because like I said also the uh, violet one is like very muted uh, muted purple so it's not uh, so even with that I don't think you will get that much color pay of it but I do think that if you like the more sort of neutral palettes and you like vice out quality then I don't think you can go wrong with this and I have tried the very like small small this sized vice art palettes uh, in the past and I did like the vice art quality the only re only thing is that their shimmers are this sort of very satin like shimmers so if you're looking for very impactful shimmers you won't get this uh, get that with the vice art palettes but if you like this sort of more uh, effortless glam look with uh, nice satiny shimmers then I do think that the Vice Art palettes are a good option. These are actually already available and I also noticed that uh, a European retailer that does stock these was Boozy Shop which I believe is um, I believe it's a Dutch online retailer uh, though I do believe both of these have sold out currently and these might come to Beauty Bay at some point. However, I have noticed recently that in terms of ISO's releases, Beauty Bay has been a bit slow in getting them. But uh, I think because Beauty Bay did get the uh, Koyish uh, collection, 
uh, which came out during summertime, then I do believe they will be also getting these at some point, but you might just have to wait. But uh, if you're in the US and ordering from Weisart's own website, then these should already be available. And I think these might be available also in... Does Beautylish or Camera Ready Cosmetics sell these? Uh, I can't vouch for that, but like I said, if you're in States already, there are retailers that have these available in Europe, you might have to do a little bit of digging. But for me, not something that I'm running out to get because they are very neutral and I do have a lot of these sort of colors in my collection, so it's not uh, not palettes that I will be like have the ver have very great need to buy. But um, if you're looking for something neutral, then this could be a good good quality option. Bella Beauty Bard recently came out with, uh, I believe, Bejeweled is the name of the palette. And this is one of, again, their Bella Beauty Bar is an indie brand that they come out with these uh, very big, big palettes. And this is no exception. This is also something that already is available on the brand's website, though I'm not sure... Uh, is it still in stock and I do know that because I'm filming this on the Sunday after Black Friday so it might be that this has sold out if the brand has had some sort of Black Friday offerings but for me because it has this sort of very dark dark uh, uh, like dark jewel toned shades then this is something that I am not going to be buying because uh, I do like colorful uh, shades but I don't need like this many dark jewel tone shades in my collection. I do believe the reviews I've seen the, seen from this is that the quality is quite good and the shimmers are something that people really like from the brand. And this is definitely a brand that I would want to try in the f future. And uh, Monolith Shop here in Europe does stock. Uh, so I believe this will become available on Monolith Shop at some point. But uh, this won't be the palette that I will be trying from them. And also I would hope that they would <laughs> do some smaller palettes because the ones that they do now, they are quite quite big and I'm like thinking about now my storage and, uh, and just thinking that I wouldn't like I already have difficulties fitting my Beauty Bay 42 pan palettes to my drawer so getting more of this sort of really big palettes would start being a bit of an inconvenience but yeah uh, the palettes is like I said available on their website but check the stock situation because unfortunately with indie brands because they are smaller brands that means that they can't keep their stocks as even as some of the more higher end brands can but uh, definitely I think that if you have liked the brand's quality then it seems that this is the same good quality that the brand has come out with before. Let's talk about Odin's Eye. So Odin's Eye okay, released their Christmas collection and they re-released their holiday palettes from last year. I managed to get the palettes last year on the first launch. I know many people didn't get them. And also they did a restock one time. And that also I believe sold out like really quickly. And But this time they also did come out with the new palettes. And uh, I will be now more focusing on the newer palettes that come out, have come out. So just for your information. The, Old palettes from last year, those has been re-released and I do believe those might still be available. But uh, we will be talking about the two new palettes and now I have to check from the phone because... Um, what were the names? So the new palettes were called Snowy Dream and Hey, Re hey Reindeer. And I actually have the new palettes. I have been testing them out. I did a short uh, YouTube shorts or an Instagram reel with the with those. So that is available also on my channel. You will be able to find it if you uh, just go through my YouTube shorts. And uh, I'm going to give, be giving a more in-depth review later from the like the newer palettes. But let's just say that there is definitely a quality difference that I have noticed. Uh, comparing the old Christmas palettes to the new ones and it's not exactly positive in terms of the new palettes uh, but and also the color stories of the new palettes they are more pastel like and I'm already going to be I'm going to be actually filming after this video ranking the sort of Christmas palettes that I like to use during the Christmas time and I already can say that I haven't included the new ones in that because I do feel that the new ones are more pastel toned than the Shade selection, it doesn't exactly like Scream, Holiday and Christmas for me, but if you like this, if you want these sort of more pastel toned palettes, then uh, these are something to look into. But let's just say that you should watch a couple of reviews uh, when considering buying the sort of these sort of two new palettes, because like I said, there is definitely a quality difference and it's not exactly... There is a bit something lacking from them, let's just put it like that. 
But anyway, the, like I said, the old one and now the two new Christmas bars, those are available and you can get them from the Odin's Eye website. And I do believe none of these have sold out, so there should still be some stock left if you want any of the, any of the pa Christmas palettes from them. Uh, Marvel Cosmetics has uh, released a sort of, I don't know, this is a bit random release in terms of thinking, considering what time of the year is it. So, Moira did what I believe Ace Beauty did uh, earlier this year, that they Moira released this sort of game-inspired uh, Christmas collection. So there are two palettes and then there are some other products uh, included. Uh, in the collection and actually the palettes are also now available on Boozy Shop. I was actually surprised how quickly Boozy Shop had managed to get this because usually, because Moira again is a US brand, so uh, Boozy Shop is one of the few Europe European retailers that stock the brand here. So I was a bit surprised how quickly they got it. But anyway, the palettes are available in Moira's own website, of course, and also not, there is a European retailer for these if you are interested. Uh, this is still not... I have been like thinking for a while now and especially because now there is now a European retailer from Moira that I would like to try the brand because they seem to have a really good quality and they are quite even the imported prices to here. They aren't really... there isn't that much like because uh, when you sell them to Europe there comes of course the uh, retailer, ha local retailer here has to get their own share from the like uh, sales price and then Moira has to get theirs but the prices weren't like horribly inflated compa compared to the prices that they are sold on the Moira's own website. But these palettes are still not it that will get me to try the brand because first of all these are sort of very co colorful palettes which itself is I do like colorful palettes but I sort of these aren't like anything in terms of color story anything revolutionary or something that I don't already have in my collection. So, and also the theme, I'm like making makeup into a game. I mean, if for someone it, I do like understand that for someone it can make them, uh, make it for them easier to go over their comfort zone, maybe try some newer things with makeup. However, I am quite, um, I don't have any, so, like I can do creative things with makeup without making it a game or anything like that with it. So for me, it's sort of more of a gimmick that, uh, for me, it doesn't want to buy, make me want to buy the products. But if this is something that uh, you like and you like the color stories or you like this idea of making a makeup into a game, then this could be something that you could look into. And like I said, especially if you order Moira from US, it is quite an affordable brand. And I have seen, for example, Angelica Newquist has, has raved quite a lot about this. Uh, this brand and also Jen Phelps who I watch a lot. Jen has also really like raved about Marva's quality and so it is some, uh, definitely like I said a brand that I have, I have my eye on and I'm just hoping now that they would come out with a palette that I would like so then I would make a bigger order with, the pa with a palette and then some other products to see what the brand is about and how I like, like their quality. But this release itself it's a no for me but if you like it it's now available. And let's go to another indie brand that I have been sort of eyeing and I have been hoping that they will come out with a product that will finally make me like buy them. So Enslay Rain came out with the new palette and it's called Land of Enchantment and this is beautiful like from the cover art to the color stories. Uh, someone did point out already when this was released that this looks quite uh, close to the color pop. Uh, it was uh, Aurea Borealis themed, I believe, was the color pop released. However, because this, ends, this is by Ansley Rain, all the shimmers are this sort of, I believe there are multichromes and there are holochromes and also their matte quality is, um, my understanding is that it's quite good. However, the only downside in, from Ansley Rain is that their palettes are expensive. They are like expensive if you would order their from, them from US and they are also expensive even if you like order from it, uh, Europe. So here in Europe Monolith Shop stocks them and the previous palette that have, palettes that they have, have, have had stocked on a Monolith Shop have been over 80 euros. So when we are getting to the over 80 euros mark, we are getting to the same like um, we are getting to the sort of same price level that like higher end luxury brands uh, go go for. So, but uh, like uh, I think like many people have said that their quality is truly like something very like exceptional even for like indie brands, and that is why the price is so high. 
But yeah, this is like the sort of pink, dreamy, pastel bl light blues and purples. Like these are sort of blues and purples that I do actually like like to use. And also the like the shimmer shades that I have seen swatched. Those are very beautiful. There are like a lot of interesting textures and uh, interesting shifts in them. So um, I'm gonna have to see when this comes to Monolith Shop because unfortunately also there. Harvest Moon palette, uh, I think that was supposed to be on their previous launch uh, 10 or 11, if I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I don't remember which one was it, but it, it was like Monolith's uh, last, uh, latest launch they had. And unfortunately, the Harvest Moon palette wasn't in that launch, so I assume there was something related to the fact that they weren't able to get the stock in on time and now Monolith Shop hasn't had, they haven't yet announced when they will be doing the next launch because on November they didn't have the, have a launch which I believe was related to the fact that in, in European Union we recently had a change in cosmetics regulations and how brands have to, if you import cosmetics here, so their sort of the reporting has changed so that it could be related to that, that and Monolith even they had a banner on their website saying that you couldn't make an order for a certain amount of time because they were getting their like uh, getting their cosmetics information in line with the new regulation so it could be related to also that so I don't know when this is coming or if this is going to come to the uh, available in the Monolith shop uh, because like I said the Harvest Moon also which they have advertised on their website for quite a long time have, hasn't been hasn't come yet but if this becomes available and there isn't anything else that month that I want to spend my makeup budget on then this could very well be the first palette that I get from them because the color story is truly something that I would be uh, that I know I would get quite a lot of use out of and like I said the cover art I think the cover art is like best one they have done yet like it's very very beautiful, very beautiful drawing of this sort of fantasy fairy that they have on it, so yeah. But uh, if you live in States or you want to order directly from the Ansley Rain website, uh, this is was available, but I don't know is it in stock yet, so... So check for their website for that, uh, is, is it still on stock? But I'd say this is definitely another beautiful and great release from the brand altogether. Another indie release, so Adept Cosmetics uh, came out with the Element 115 palette or 115 palette, I'm sh not sure how you're, how you're supposed to say it, but um, this is sort of alien themed palette and this is one of their bigger palettes, so they recently had the Star Trek palette in this uh, format and on also the Inspired by palette which is sort of uh, Arrow, Arrow series themed. Uh, palette and uh, for me this is a no because it has it is very sort of bright blue green heavy so the shimmer sh shades aren't something that that in terms of color story that I would get use out of and also because this is one of their bigger palettes I'm assuming this one is closer to the 100 euro mark than the sort of the rectangular palettes that have been costing somewhere between 60 or 70 euros but yeah, uh, this is also available now, so if you like Adapt's quality and particularly if the shimmer shades, uh, you like, the, you want to have special shades in this sort of color stories, then I think this will be a good purchase and I will, I can generally, I own three Adapt palettes, no, not three, do I already own four? No, I think three, yeah. Uh, the three Adapt palettes that I do have, so I have the Plain Chain, the Minka and then the uh, Star Trek. Uh, the Samarian Sunset palettes and I have liked the quality of all of those so I can definitely watch that the quality is very good in these but just be aware that this is a, is a more pricier palette. Next is a more affordable option so Wet n Wild has come, out, has come out with another uh, sort of collaboration. Wet n Wild has been, have been coming out with a lot of collaborations recently. Well their Christmas collection was sort of their own but uh, they had the Scooby-Doo and now they have Marilyn Monroe collab and uh, uh, again I don't know if this will become available at Europe. I did know, notice that Boozy Shop had the Scooby-Doo collection and also they did get the Alice in Wonderland collection so it could be that this could come to a retailer like Boozy Shop. However currently I believe this is only available in States. And I think it's just cute. I mean the eyeshadow palette is a very small like neutral one 
which is a very, I think, on par with, we all know Marilyn Monroe's makeup style was more sort of the bright red, red lipstick and now I'm trying to look from my phone what else the collection has. So... <clears throat> I'm gonna be boring and say again, just like I said with the holiday collection, I think the cheek products are the cutest. So the two blushes and then there I believe there's highlighter, the pan highlighter, those look like the cutest one. And of course there's a red lipstick because it's a Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe collection, but yeah. So if you live in the US, this is available to you. Not something that I'm, I'm not a huge like uh, Marilyn Monroe fan or anything like uh, I do like her style and I do like the costumes and dresses she has worn in the movies but I'm not like that big of a Marilyn person that I collect stuff that is themed by, uh, themed from her but if you like uh, if you like her or you generally like the products then Wet n Wild like I said is a brand that is quite widely available especially if you live in states and their prices are quite reasonable and yeah but uh, yeah that's all from that collection Cosmic Brushes came out with their Wonderland collection, so, or not a collection, there's only a palette included in this. So Cosmic Brushes is one, is a UK based indie brand and is actually one of my favorite current indie brands. And especially considering their price point, it's, uh, I'm not surprised that they have been popular. I like their quality very much, however, I'm a bit disappointed because I was quite excited that they were coming out with another bigger palette. They released a smaller goth themed palette around Halloween time, however that was a bit too dark and a bit too purple heavy for me. And now they came out with a blue, blue, bright blue heavy palette for, um, for the holiday. So, um, it's very beautiful. Uh, I do have seen, watched quite a lot of reviews of this, so the quality seems to be the same as it has been on their other palettes, but the color story, like, there are some, there are some pastel shades, so technically I think I would get use out of, out of this, however I'm, because I still have the Serenity palette, which has quite a lot of similar shades. This one, of course, this doesn't have the oranges and golds, obviously, because this is more winter themed. But I haven't used the Serenity palette like that much, so considering that this has quite a lot of similar, like, uh, not identical shades, but some similar shades, and this has then even more like this sort of special blues that I don't uh, get used that much, so yeah. In terms of color story, this is a skip for me. I believe this already sold out, this sold out quite quickly, as usually their palettes does when they are released. But uh, check, uh, keep an eye on their website and on their Instagram. Cosmic Brushes is really good in, on Instagram telling when they will be restocking stuff. And definitely if you're looking for a good affordable indie brand to try and you, uh, ordering from UK is something that the shipping won't, if you live in UK yourself, or if ordering from UK means that the shipping cost won't be too high, then this is definitely a brand that I would recommend trying because I have liked their quality. This time the color story again is unfortunately just not for me, so that is why I will be skipping this one. Unearthly Cosmetics came out with, I believe this is supposed to be their sort of winter, this isn't I believe a Christmas release per se, but this is their sort of winter release, and uh, Unearthly Cosmetics is available in Monolith Shop, and I tried two palettes from them, one of them was their sort of nine, I tried two nine pans from them, I don't remember the names of them, but the other one was their sort of Valentine's themed one, and the other one was, uh, it was sort of crunchy fall. It wasn't the fall um, fall romance or... Uh, I don't remember now the name of it, but they recently came out with a re remastered version of it. So it wasn't that one, but it was another one of those nine pen versions. And I didn't exactly like the quality compared to how much the nine pan palettes cost. Uh, so... And especially the shimmer shades were something that I was quite disappointed in comparing that the nine pans when you bought them from Monolith Shop, they weren't exactly like, uh, because it's already an indie brand and when it's imported from States to here to Europe, it's already, there's quite a lot of price increase there. However, as now some of their more recent palettes, I have been actually thinking about that I should give the brand another try. So like I said, on Monolith Shop, they recently came out with their fall collection. So it was the collection that had the sort of cheek palette and the uh, eyeshadow palette and some lip products. And then they came out with the two separate palettes. And I'm actually gonna see if I could quickly watch what were the names of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, so it was the Sorcery Smoke and Fall Magic, yeah. So Fall Magic Remastered and the Sorcery Smoke palettes. And uh, I actually watched uh, some the owner because I do actually think it's quite cool that the owner of Unearthly Cosmetics is very active here on YouTube and she really does like uh, eye swatches of all the shades on the palettes and tells about how production is going and generally what it's like being a makeup brand owner. So definitely go and follow her channel because it really gives a good insight how how things work and she's just very great at like showing how showing off her products and uh, yeah but uh, definitely now regarding the sort of like her winter collection it's this sort of very cool toned muted pink and purples uh, there's also some lip uh, lipsticks and there is going to be a highlighter palette however I'm mainly interested in the eyeshadow palette and uh, I think this eyeshadow palette, because uh, I believe Monolith Shop will be, they had a poll recently on their Instagram and I believe Monolith Shop will be getting the palette separately so I, you won't have to be buying the whole bundle because with the fall collection I believe there was the fact that you had to buy the whole bundle and then she later on she did, re she did release the fall palette on its own but with this one I believe from the get-go there was the option that uh, you will be able to get the palette separately or you can buy it from the bundle in with the lip products and the highlighters. So if the palette becomes separately available on Monolith Shop, which I believe it will, then uh, this could be my me giving another try to the brand because it seems now that the uh, shimmers in the newer palettes, they are a bit more better. So, and like I said, because the brand is quite expensive when it's imported here to Europe and it's quite price, it's already quite like, it's not the most priciest like of indie brands if you buy if you are in the states and buy it from their own website but they are exactly also like um, inexpensive so i think the newer shimmers are definitely like uh, looking to be more on par with the price point the brand is asking for and i really do like this sort of like a uh, uh, not sort of icy, but these very sort of muted cool toned like pinks and purples and then this sort of there's a navy blue and then there's some cool toned neutrals in this so this eyeshadow palette definitely looks like something that I would be liking and maybe if the lip products come separately I did look some of the lipstick shades they did kind of look also interesting but I don't like I said I'm not sure sure will you be able to buy the lip product separately which is like unfortunate because uh, as a someone with a large collection, I don't need to have like three lipsticks at once, like anymore. Uh, already like having one more lipstick. I recently decluttered my collection and I'm still looking at my lip collection thinking that there's still like too much. So yeah, maybe would be open to also trying the lipsticks if I can choose one. But if those are like only bundled, then just the palette is the only one then that I would like from this collection. So a brand next that I haven't talked about a lot, but I feel that uh, this is something that will probably interest some of you because I do know that these two have quite a big following. So P. Louis is a UK based. I do believe they are also in te like technically categorized as an indie brand because the brand is independently owned. So P. Louis and Michaela, and I believe Michaela is a very popular, particularly on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok and won't be. <laughs> won't be having a TikTok because I think I'm a bit... You never should really say that you're too old for something, but I definitely just, I don't like the fast paced content that goes on TikTok, but definitely, yeah. But anyway, Michaela and uh, P. Louis collaborated and uh, P. Louis has a reputation of doing a really, these sort of huge palettes. Uh, I do believe I have watched some UK like influencers and uh, YouTubers and I do believe P. Louis they are a bit expensive but I do believe their quality is like it's quite like worth the price. Uh, something that however that has pushed me away from the brand is that the packaging is very obnoxious it's like very it's too big and now you're probably and uh, like a and especially with this eyeshadow palette that you will be seeing is that you could basically half both of the sides so this sort of half neutral half blue palette and I think you could like half both of the neutral side and the blue sides and then you would get like this sort of quite nicely curated palette but like on its own it's too big. I believe there are some uh, cheek products with this so the blushes actually the liquid blushes look quite nice. There's some lavender and pink tone uh, liquid blushes included and I believe there's also some powder highlighters here and of it, like faux lashes that look like okay. I don't use faux lashes so again not something that I would be interested in. The highlighter looks to be one of these more like uh, shinier highlighters, but uh, the highlighter quality itself uh, I think should be quite okay. 
Uh, and I'm gonna now have a spoiler alert. I actually did uh, make an order from P. Lewis, however, I didn't order this collection because, like I said, the palette is too palette is too huge for me and nothing in this collection interested me. But I did make a Black Friday order from the brand and uh, on uh, Christmas time when I have some more time to film, I will be doing this sort of a brand, uh, first time brand review from uh, the brand. And uh, another spoiler that I will be saying is that I did order along with some of the Black Friday stuff that was on Black Friday sale, I actually ordered the budget box for the uh, month of November that she uh, does uh, does and so P. Lewis has this system that they do this sort of budget bo box monthly that you have sort of uh, I believe there are only like new products on the boxes so it's a sort of bit different way of doing business and I have watched the spoilers of the budget box on uh, I believe Instagram and also in some other social media websites and uh, I know that in the budget book there will actually be a huge palette that has only blues and greens, like turquoise, turquoise greens in it, and I'm already like thinking that it, well, that's gonna be interesting, and it's uh, the palette is gonna be one of her like bigger two-tiered palettes, so I will already be having some storage storage issues without having to actually buy the Michaela collab, and um, it, it's going to be an interesting to try the brand and give my opinion about the fact that. Uh, are these sort of very big palettes like are they worth their price because I do believe particularly the big two tiered ones those like go for usually between 60 or 70 euros but yeah so in terms of the Michaela collab not something that I will be interested to buy I do believe quite a lot of the stuff has already sold out because well obviously because Michaela has a big offer big offer like following on social media, so I'm not surprised that the collection has already sold out, but I do believe last time I checked on their website the palette was still available, but a lot of the other stuff, there was also like makeup brushes and that sort of stuff, those were sold out, but um, uh, keep on the eyes on the web, on the like Michaela's and P. Lewis's social media, if this is something you're interested in, I don't know, is was this like a one-time thing or, or are they gonna restock it, but um, the Collaboration is a no for me, but you will be, in terms of P. Louise, you will be seeing a video from me later on somewhere between December and uh, in the beginning of January when I have tried the stuff that I got from the Black Friday sale. Ooh, this was a very interesting. So Lethal Cosmetics, a German-based indie brand that I have tried um, palette from and I have a, one of their lipsticks. and. Uh, I believe it's a brand that I have generally given quite a good review of. I do like both the lipstick and the palette that I've tried. So Lethal came out with a new uh, ready-made palette. So they have, you can make custom palettes on their website and then they occasionally come out with the sort of pre-made palettes. And I'd say this was a quite an interesting uh, like winter release. So this has again, this sort of more muted tone. So it's a good mix. I think of some more neutral and more colorful shades. And I'm actually gonna check what's the price of these because the Custom palettes on their website, those can be quite an expensive ones, but yeah, so the Midnight Serenade palette will retail for $45, so in euros that will be most likely around 40 or 39 euros. And uh, here on, if you're ordering from their website inside Europe, I believe there's a threshold that you will get free shipping, though I believe in Lethal's case the threshold was quite quite high but the shipping cost when I made my order when I ordered the custom made palette on summer it wasn't like uh, I was able to use some sort of discount code so even though I had to pay for the shipping it wasn't like a terrible price however I don't know if you order to the US from the German site that how expensive it gets I do know that in states the Camera Ready Cosmetics is a site that uh, does stock little and uh, but I don't know will this become available on the website but yeah so this I like I said a very interesting winter release not something that I will be getting because the color story it's um it didn't get me that excited but definitely I say that if you have been considering that you would like to try a so I can vouch for their quality their quality is very nice and their shimmers I believe this also has some more shiftier shimmers in it so there is some some special Special shades in here, but there are also some basic shimmers and then some mattes. And definitely, I'd say that if you have been thinking about buying, trying them, and if you live particularly in Europe, and also because they're priced, they aren't like the most expensive of indie brands. So if you particularly live in Europe, they are like starting somewhere between the 
40 euro price mark so it is quite like i would say reasonably priced for an independently owned brand and uh, if you like this then i think in terms of quality from their other products i could recommend trying out the brand Oh, now for something very great. So Lost Gods, a Swedish indie brand that's one of my absolute like favorite... Um, sorry about my hair today, it's um, not staying where it should be staying, but oh well. Life goes on. So Gloss Gods came out with... Um, so Gloss Gods did what Odin side did. So they basically re-released two of their older products and then they come out with two new palettes. So two new... the re-releases are this uh, Girl on the Moon on Girl on the Mars palettes and uh, I believe they have reformulated a few of the shades and I'm, I haven't checked but I'm hoping they have reformulated them sort of smoother because both of the palettes that I have that are the old formula those had two of these sort of very smooth looking duochrome shades that actually like creased terribly like those shades creased like basically away from your eyes no matter what kind of base you used on them or if you didn't use any kind of base so I'm hoping that because they are advertising that they have done some reformulation then, then it is like from both of well, both of the palettes those those uh, duochrome shades that weren't just like they, those didn't like uh, those didn't work very well. However, what I'm focusing now is there in two new palettes they came out with. So they are continuing with the space team and um, let's see. Uh, so it's a girl on Jupiter and girl on Venus are the new ones. Yeah. So I believe Jupiter is the more sort of cool toned neutral one. And because the Gal on Venus it's sort of this sort of very very chilly chilly hot reddish palette and I'm already going to be saying this that uh, if I'm going to be getting, because I will be getting one of these, I will be getting the Jupiter palette because that has sort of this sort of rosy rosy looking cool tone shades that I will that aren't gray but are cool tone so they will be most likely fitting my particularly my undertone which is a rosy cool undertone because uh, as I have said that if their uh, palettes are very cool tone leaning almost gray then that will look also very very off of on my skin tone but if it's more sort of cool rosy tones then the shades will look very nice However, the girl on Venus, while it looks quite uh, looks quite nice, I don't uh, like because it has these sort of very bright reds and very bright orangey and yellows. It's a color story that I already know that I wouldn't get used out of, and while I do like collecting Gloss God palettes, uh, it is something that I will be skipping on. But yeah, uh, the, both of the palettes are now available because uh, this was a Black Friday release and there's also now like the two new two palettes have been now remastered so and like I said I do hope that they actually reformulated the shades that weren't working on the original palettes from the older palettes and also like just that with the little cosmetics uh, with Gloss Gods, Gloss Gods palettes particularly if you live in Europe are more affordable for indie brands so the palettes go for I believe something like on a four, the 40 euro mark and then you can use like influencer codes on them so they are actually very reasonably priced and I do like that with these sort of new palettes that they, that they came out to this collection that they now included matte, matte shades in them because the original and now these remastered version from the Gal on the Moon and the Mars palette uh, Mars palettes those still are like shimmer only palettes so I'm happy that the Venus and Jupiter palettes do have mattes included in them because it does bring versatility in terms of using the palettes. And my camera is going to be running out of battery soon so we will be going to the last palette or the product I will be talking today. So Blend Bunny Cosmetics came out with a re new release and this was also a bit how should I say a surprise. So that new palette, they sneak peek this quite a lot. So this is called the Machina palette. And this again is more sort of a grungier, grungy rainbow palette. So this has more sort of like, again, muted colorful shades. And this is quite, this goes quite dark. So this is not a palette that I will be, I'm, I'm checking this on my phone because I haven't actually, this like really recently they released that, like the, the, like the, how the shades look on color photos. So 
yeah it's not for me the shade like the i like the cover art the cover art is like very pretty i like the and i also kind of like the sort of like a cyborg theme on it but the colors inside these are too too like sort of dark toned and too grungy for me but i definitely have two blend bunny palettes and i would i can definitely recommend the brand's quality it's just that the color story of this is not for me but uh, I haven't yet checked the release date of this, so uh, uh, keep an eye on their Instagram and social medias to see when they will be releasing this. And Blend Bunny again, I think, is more reasonably priced, so their palettes go around the 40, uh, 40 50 USD. So also in euros, they have been like around 45 or 50 euros, depending on the size of the palette. So the brand is more reasonably priced than indie brand, and the quality of their mats and shimmers is quite quite good so a brand recommendation and if you like this color story then definitely uh, I would recommend trying trying out the brand okay so we finally made it to the end so comment down below what did you think about the releases or did, was there a release that I didn't mention but you have been liking uh, so if you like the video press the like button subscribe to the channel and if there are also, if you want to watch more content from me, then I think YouTube should be recommending some videos to you right now. And yeah, but I hope I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye!